All right. Uh, yeah, I'm a little late. I've been busy all day, and uh, I was going to try to throw this into the podcast for tomorrow, but this needs its own um, story itself. So, Black Wednesday, I want to call it. The WWE released nine wrestlers. Some of these names aren't shocking. Then there are those that are shocking. So let me give you the names of the people that were released. Uh, kind of, I'll tell you kind of why they were released and where they'll most likely end up. So the names released on yesterday: Samoa Joe, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Mickey James, Chelsea Green, Tucker, Callisto, Bo Dallas, Mojo Riley, and Wesley Blake. Now, some of those names are. Very, very shocking. So let's get with, let's just start with the people that aren't shocking. Wesley Blake released. Uh, remember him, you remember him from the Forgotten Sons, and then he was the Knights of the Lone Wolf. His tag team partner, Steve Cutler, was released last month. And their leader, who we thought was going to get released and they would have stayed, is actually still with the company. So the head of that tag team, the Forgotten Sons, Jackson Riker, the Trump loving, um, I'm not going to say racist, but he's a, he's a douche. He's a dick. And, uh, not surprisingly, he is still with the company. So, um, Vince going to Vince, fuck Jackson Riker. Wesley was released. Well, after, after Steve got released, It was only a matter of time when Wesley was going to get released as Jackson Riker is being used on Raw. Where Wesley Blake will end up? Probably on the indies. I don't see any real major company um, signing him. Mojo Raleigh Raleigh is a guy who had all the potential in the world, has potential, and again, wasn't used. It's like um, once the WWE knew that they didn't need Rob Gronkowski anymore, they didn't need Mojo Rawley. And then once he was split up from Zack Ryder, he wasn't going to get used anymore. He was used on and off, and he potentially got used. He got used a lot when Gronk was there, but Gronk is unretired. So, uh, Mojo Rawley, I can see him definitely, definitely being signed to Ring of Honor. But also, he's a guy that I think would benefit from going to Japan. Uh, I I think he has that potential. The writing on the wall was there for Bo Dallas. He pretty much disappeared. He was never really used right. Uh, Bo Dallas is the brother of one Bray Wyatt. Uh, Father is Erwin R. Scheister, IRS. But Bo knew his time was limited as he, remember I told you, um, a couple shows back that he started his own real estate business and he has a farm with Liv Morgan. So he knew it was coming. And, and, you know, I believe he'll be fine. Callisto, I'm up and down on. This is a guy's a former Cruiserweight champion and a former United States champion. And you're seeing a trend here. So Wesley, Mojo, Bo, and now Callisto. These are all, these are four men who were separated from their tag teams. And we know what happens when it comes to Vince separating tag teams. He think We think one person is going to be a star or he's going to push someone. And Wesley Blake, well, Jackson Riker got pushed. Rojo, Mojo Raleigh, Zack Ryder is already a star. Bo Dallas, I'm totally surprised. I don't, I don't think... Um, I think Curtis Axel was released. Let me just check. Yeah, he was, remember, he was released... Uh, he was released last year during Black Wednesday. So, yeah. Callisto, there was no reason to separate him from the Lucha House Party. It just made no sense, and Callisto ended up jobbing for the 24-7 title stuff. Sad to say it, the writing was really, really on the wall with Tucker. I I know it, you know it. Heavy machinery should still be a thing right now, but Vince going to Vince. He broke up heavy machinery all on a whim. And we know Otis is great, but 
Tucker is also great. And they were great together. And now Tucker went from being in a popular tag team to being split from his tag team partner to now being gone from the company. So now that's five guys being split up and gone. And let's at least not forget it happened with crime time. It happened with um there's another tag team. Not Miz and Marshall. There's another there was another tag team where they were split and then they were both gone. I forget. So I'm Tucker, I don't I don't know where he could end up. Callisto, I think, will end up probably in uh, Mexico. He'll be fine. Triple A will use him. Now, here's the big names. First of all, Chelsea Green. We know the talent. We know the skill. She is a former knockout champion. I believe two-time knockout champion, actually. So her being signed to the WWE was great. She was solid in NXT, and she really didn't need to be there because she was already competent. Left the Robert Stone brand, then she was quote-unquote called up to the main roster, and she just wasn't used. She never, ever appeared. She finally got her call up. She finally showed up, and then her first night on the roster, she broke her wrist. So she was gone again. We're now in a case of wasted talent, and we know this happens so much because... Vince going to Vince. Chelsea Green falls in the same category as Deanna Peraza and Ty Conti. Two other women that were just not used on the WWE let go and went to other companies and have absolutely smashed it. And guess what? It'll happen with Chelsea Green. She can either go back to Impact and make their division greater than it already is. I think she'll be in AEW. Um, AEW's roster is slowly growing. They're, they're there. She'll most likely end up in AEW. Another shocking name. Mickey James. Pretty much, we know who Mickey James is. She's a six-time women's champion in WWE. I think she's like a four, five, six-time knockout champion. She's a legend in this business and in this industry. She wanted to wrestle. They didn't want her to wrestle anymore. So... Honestly, it made sense for them to release her. Where will she go? She's cool. She can join her husband in NWA. She can go back to Impact. I think she'll end up in AEW, and that's because they don't have that many veteran female wrestlers on that roster. They don't have anybody that, besides Serena and Thunder Rosa, and Thunder Rosa is not under contract to AEW. So really, Serena's the Serena, maybe Sheeta, but more so Serena is the only real active veteran on that roster who can help guide these young pups. Mickey James, AEW, immediately. And this this next pair of releases really, really hurts my heart, and it hurts a lot of people's hearts. The Iconics. Peyton Royce, Billy Kay. <sighs> they were unjustifiably and unceremoniously unceremon- split up because of one Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So Vince going to Vince. Their split made no sense at all and should have never, ever, ever happened. And we heard the stories that always oh, just because Vince was going to push Peyton Royce. Well, we know what happened. They split up the Iconics. They were drafted to separate brands. And then Peyton was put into another tag team. So why would you take her out of the tag team with her best friend from high school who she grew up with? An actual competent team when you don't have that many in your main roster tag team division. To put her in another tag team. And then she took a back seat to her tag team partner. Who's now at home because she's pregnant. Breaking up Billy Kay and Peyton Royce made no sense. And now they're released. And I want them to give the biggest F you to Vince. When they go somewhere else and succeed. They can go to Impact. 
and make an immediate, an immediate just dent in their women's tag team division. They can go to AEW and be be one of the few bona fide stars they have in that division. Billy Kay is amazing. She may not be the best in the ring, but she knows her character and her comedic timing is second to none. Period. I hate seeing them gone. I hate to see them split up, but they'll be fine. Believe me. And lastly, the last release that obviously just was quite shocking was Samoa Joe. So we know his injury history, but how do you feel? fail Samoa Joe how how Sway this guy's a legend right and last time we saw him, he was doing commentary on Monday Night Raw he was calling Wrestlemania and then he was just gone so we're thinking alright he's taken off he's been taken off the broadcast team which means okay he might be gearing up for an interim return nope he got released I'm like Renee Paquette how do you fail using Samoa Joe he should have been at least a two-time world champion already, but every time they push him during the summer, he always lost. And you failed. You failed. Vincent Kennedy McMahon, you dickhead. You failed. You failed Joe. You failed Billy, Peyton, Mickey, Chelsea, Tucker, Callisto, Bo, Mojo, and Wesley Blake. You failed. You are ruining your company. How do you... How do you fail using Samoa Joe? I just. The man is a bona fide. And Joe's going to be fine. Joe can go to Ring of Honor. He can go to Impact where he was a star. He can go to AEW. He can go to New Japan and just rock it. You never want to see people lose their jobs. With the exception of Donald Trump. And Mitch McConnell. And Matt Gates And Josh Howley. And Paul ran. I'm getting off topic. Fuck those guys, though. Um, It sucks. And there's probably going to be more releases coming within like the next week. Um, I want to see what's going to happen when all of their 90 day no uh, 90 day non compete clauses are over to see where some of them land, where where, where they'll end up. Uh, AEW can't sign everybody. I know we want everybody to go AEW, but everybody can't go to AEW. With that being said, I feel like Samoa, Billy, Peyton, Mickey, and Chelsea will all end up in AEW. Um, especially when AEW gets that third televised hour. Yeah, thing, things will, things will be looking up. But it sucks. We all know it sucks. Look, you can go to everybody's socials to check out where they their their kind of their messages, their thanks. I don't, I, they're just thanking Vince. Fuck Vince. Fuck that guy. But you check check them out. Come back tomorrow for the Highest Wrestling Podcast, where where we'll uh, go over some of the worst WrestleMania main events and why they sucked. All right, I'm your host Jeremy Pierce. Make love, not war. This is what just happened. Peace.